Now, design a Turing machine to compute two's complement. We know what is a two's complement. Say, for example, if you have 0, 1, 1 as the input, first we, it will uh, compute one's complement and then it will add a 1 to it. So, this is the answer for two's complement. If this is your input, this should be your output. Likewise, if this is your input, then the output will be this one. Okay, so if this is your input, and this is going to be your output. Now we need to look into the pattern so that we can uh, design a Turing machine. So if the string ends with 1, see, if the string ends with 1, we have to copy that 1 and before all that 1, we need to complement. Before that 1, we need to complement. 1 becomes 0, 0 becomes 1 and 1 becomes 0. If the string ends with 1, we have to go to the extreme right that one you need to copy that and before all ones whatever is there you need to convert into or complement just complement so this is the logic we have uh, so how can we implement this one so initially see i'm partially implementing it so let us assume we are going to use a two-way infinite tape for this one because we can, if we proceed from the last, it will be very easy to implement. So, again, if it ends with 0, so that 0 is again copied here. Till that 1, first 1 is coming, it is copied in the output, and then it is complemented. Then it is complemented. So, this is what is the logic which I am going to use. So, we are going to use a two-way infinite tape. So far, we have seen problems which uses one way infinite tape here the tape is assumed to be infinite at both the ends whatever string we want we will place it in the center okay now the string will be pointing to the first symbol in the tape now first thing is we need to move to the extreme right hand side we have to make the string to move to the extreme right hand side so till this we need to make the string to move because we we are going to see only from the back side least significant bits so we will make the turing machine to move to the back side first so if it is one you replace that with one move towards right zero replace that with zero move towards right when a blank comes replace that with blank and move towards left hand side and if the last symbol is 1, if the last symbol is 1, we need to copy that 1 and you need to complement the rest of the things towards the left hand side. That is what is the logic we followed there. So if the last symbol is 1, you replace that with 1 and move towards the left hand side and move towards the left hand side now if the last symbol is if that one symbol you need to complement that one symbol you need to complement and move towards the left hand side what about the rest of the symbols if any other one comes you need to complement it move towards the left if zero comes you complement it and move towards the left hand side okay and then if a blank comes you halt blank comes to replace that with blank and move towards halt so what are we doing we are starting from this point uh, no no this point and we are moving towards the extreme right hand side till this blank once this blank comes you are moving towards the left hand side and this symbol you are replacing with one and all the rest of the symbols to the left hand side you are complementing it so 0 1 0 will be coming 
and once this blank comes you are halting and accepting this works fine for all the strings that ends with one so we need to see for all the strings that ends with zero also so from here let us take another string that ends with zero suppose you have like this so what you have to do when it ends with zero so you once you reach here you'll move it you'll be moving here so once you end with zero then what you have to do you have to replace all zeros with zeros until the first one this one also has to be replaced so here if any number of zero comes replace that with zero and move towards left and if the first one comes replace that with one move towards left on all other things has to be complemented so what will be the output so here the answer is going to be 0 0 1 and 0 now see here so when here we are here blank comes replace that with blank move towards left when a 0 comes replace that with 0 move towards left 0 comes replace that with 0 move to come left 1 comes replace that with 1 move towards left and till this one we need to copy and after that you need to complement and this steering machine works fine for any input now let me take one more example say for example 101101 let us assume what is the two's complement for this one so the two's complement for this one will be the answer will be this right input is this so when a, initially you will be moving towards us so you are going to place this in a two way tour, turing machine 101101 and a b first initially you are moving to the extreme right till this blank once the blank comes you are moving towards the left hand side first one is a one okay so you re from q1 you go to q2 replacing one with one moving towards the left hand side all others will be complemented so the output in the answer will be this will be blank and this will be one all others will be complemented so it will be one zero one more zero will be coming and then here one zero so this will be the output so this is the answer for the turing machine that is going to compute two's complement